Good morning guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and if you look just the day, Hi. you can just make out the head of Sandra. The head. She's a bobblehead. <laughs> <laughs> it was on my phone, I didn't even know he was putting it on. Sorry guys, customer come in there, so we'll carry on. Sorry, I'm on my game. Sandra's playing a game now. <laughs> That's how long it's been. <laughs> right, anyway, today's video, mixture again, a little bit from Charity Shop and quite a bit from Besma Road Car Boot Sale in Cardiff. Most of this stuff was bought on the same day a fortnight ago because I didn't go out this weekend because the baby worked very well. Um, but first things first, I'm going to show you my car boot sale, uh, my car boot sale, my Charity Shop buy. Went into the charity shop yesterday and I bought a stool. Now it's quite a nice stool. It's all quite crudely chip carved down here and around the side. It's a nice solid piece of timber as you can see there. Horseshoe shaped with a cowhide, still a furry one, uh, on the top. It's quite a nice stool actually. And as you can see, there's the price I paid for it, $9.99, and I'm going to put about £45 on there. So it's a really nice stool, love the horseshoe shape, love the cowhide, there's quite a bit of work gone into this, and to be honest with you, solid wood as well. You know, you're not talking chip wood or nothing like that, um, looks like a mahogany or something along their lines, it's really nice, rich wood, and it's a nice sturdy stool. And I just love the shape. Go and sit on it. Go on, sit on it. my fat arse on it. <laughs> so there we go. That's my first buy. Charity shop buy. Next two two shops up from me. Nine pound ninety nine, and uh, it's a cracking little lot. Now I must admit I was going to put thirty quid on it yesterday, and Steve came in and he said he'd be up hundred pound if he was still up in London. So I thought, well, okay, I'll up it a bit, and I went to forty five. Um, and to be honest, it's worth every penny of that. So it's going to be a nice little profit on that stool. Age-wise, I don't think it's that old, probably in the last 10 or 20 years, but it's been homemade. It's a homemade piece, not um, something that's shop-bought. Right, so we're going to move on to Bessemer Road stock now. And my star lots, well, one of my star lots for today, are these. Now the first... Is a hedgehog now they're stinking dirty once these are washed in soapy water they are going to sparkle and you'll see the rainbow through them because they buy a company called swarovski crystal they are signed uh, these have got the latest stamp of the swan the early ones got the block s now this little one here cost me 50 pence absolutely beautiful and then we have this magnificent one here which is your flower head, I'm not sure is it a lily or something like that. It's a candle holder, you put the candlestick in there. Can I see it? Yeah, in a minute. <laughs> and again, in lovely condition, and again cost me 50 pence. I had both of these off Diane and Austin in Bessemer, and again it's got the swan stamp, but not the block S, but another 50 pence, guys. Now I rate it at the Hedgehog, I just sold a Hedgehog for 35 um, so that one's going to be about 35 to £40. Pound. On this one I rate it more, probably £55, £60, pound, somewhere on there for £50 pounds each. They're a cracking little buy. It's really pretty, I And not a small bit of Swarovski either. I got another couple of star lots, so don't go away, you really don't want to miss them. Moving on, I bought this little book, little book, it's quite a big book, and it is the Illustrated, where are we, Pract Illustrated Practical Motoring, and it is everything about the engine, and it's got pullouts, it's got illustrations, it's literally a fully illustrated book, um, Pretty much everything you want to know about the combustion engine, I think. So, really nice book. It cost me two pounds. Um, I have no idea what it's worth. I haven't looked it up. But the worst case scenario, it'll go in here for a tenner, and it will sell. 
So it'll just go on my little bookshelf over there with my other interesting books. I don't put Ray books in here, but I put interesting books. I sold a Mrs. Beaton's cookbook and household management yesterday from 1907 for £35, so the books do sell. Uh, I had some horse brasses or martingales. So, what makes these ones a bit more collectible is the porcelain inserts. If you have a look online, some of these porcelain insert horse brasses are pulling decent money. Some horse brasses still pull money, but as a rule, not loads. Now, I paid a pound each for these in Bessemer, so they cost me two quid for the two, and I'm going to put £12 each on them. It's not a lot of money, it's like four quid a horse brass. That's absolutely fine, and they get the leather strap with them. So they're going to fly out at that. You know, and I don't mind putting a pound into 12. Happy days. Right. Yeah, I don't mean to be quiet. I'm like browsing through my phone while you're... I had a pair of binoculars next. Now they've got a maker's mark on here. I haven't researched it yet. It looks like a H and an S. Hopefully you can see that. There you go. Um, but they're in nice working order, quite unusual. You got this nice threaded piece coming down here. They're certainly early 20th century. Can't see no military marks on them for the arrows or anything. Um, no maker's mark other than that. So, you know, sometimes you get a retailer stamp and that. So I'm going to have to do a bit of work to find out exactly who they are. But a nice pair of binoculars and they cost me £2. As you can see, a little dent by here. But it's not the end of the world. The optics are good. They still work. And for two quid, even if I didn't research them and check them out for 10 or 12 quid, they're going to go. So it's a good profit. But I will do the research on those and find out who they are. My final lots is a group of pens. Now, I'm going to take these two aside a second. I'm going to show you this. Now this is the Conway Stewart Dinky Set. You have a fountain pen here, or otherwise known as the dip pen, with a 14 karat gold nib and this beautiful mottled effect. Look at, the, look at the mottled effect on that. Really nice. And then of course you have the pencil. Again, stunning marbled colours. In its original case, in mint condition, Honestly, it doesn't even look like it's been used. Now, I had a look online yesterday. If you have a look by there, a set sold with 36 bids for £175 for a set of these. I know. Isn't that awesome? I'm putting these up for £200 on their own just for the set, and I'll see if I get an offer. But I'm not going to be going less than £150. When they can get £175 for an almost identical set... And this is pristine. This is as good a condition as you want to get. The case is mint. The pens are mint. So I'm going to put in these on eBay later for £200 and see what they get. Now, they owe me, I'd say, about £25 for the three pens. Because I bought a job lot off Dan and Austin. Um, I gave them £50. But in amongst that, I had quite a bit of items. I had uh, a nine carat gold necklace with a love spoon wooden love spoon on it I had a solid silver sugar tongs and things that are in another video so I'm going to allocate 25 pound to the pens and I'm already asking 200 for this then we have this one here which was a name I wasn't familiar with uh, my eyeglass are in there somewhere yeah tap Oh, Christ, I can't even pronounce it. Give me pen and paper. I'm going to write it down for them. They can read it. Pen and paper. Should be a pen on the end of it? No, they won't. <laughs> I got one. You got one. Are you right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. If I don't write it down, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this, guys. I've done the research on them, but I can't pronounce it. That is the name 
on the um, pen. Okay, now I think it was model number 507. What's your mum? No, she's coming in yet. Yeah, it's model number 507. Now, if you have a look, slightly different pattern, 150 quid, 100 pounds for one pen. Again, it's got a 14 karat gold nib. Now, these nibs range from 0.3 of a gram up to a gram. So, it's like 15, 20 quid of gold in the nib on some of these pens. The pen, again, is in beautiful condition. And look at the finish on this pen. Really, really nice marbled effect. To be honest, it was really nice example. So, again, you're talking probably another hundred pound pen by year, if not more. Once I get that up on on eBay, so we're talking from a twenty five quid, we're up to three hundred already. Then again, we have another pen. Now this one's quite unusual. It's solid black year, solid black year, and it's. Uh, see through here where they've had the blue ink and it's obviously stained blue It's got a 14 karat gold nib again For this one quite unusually it's by Schweppes And yeah, that's the um, lemonade brand Schweppes So I don't know whether it was done for advertising or what It just says Schweppes made in England no other numbers on it or anything But an interesting pen advertising and a 14 karat gold nib so it's gonna be, I'd guess, 35 pound, 40 pound. So the pens are a serious, serious score. Star lots, obviously the pens and the Swarovski crystal, but in all honesty, I love it all again. Some absolutely stunning buys. You, got, you are a proper holder. I'm not a hoarder, they want up to sale. <laughs> I'm only a hoarder if I keep this stuff. <laughs> so they go up to sale, not everything does. I do keep a lot of stuff. Uh, but eventually it'll get sold. Um, while I'm by you now, I just want to show you the sugar tongs that came in with the um, pens. They're already in the cabinet. I haven't dated them or done anything to them yet. I just put them out. And they're fully hallmarked for Sheffield. And they have a registration number on them of 605905. 606, 906, 905, either 606, 905, or 605. So you're talking 1910, somewhere on by there. They have the beautiful claw handle, um, solid silver, fully hallmarked. I don't know if you can see the hallmarks. Um, so if I allocate those at about seven pounds, six or seven pounds is what I paid for those. And really nice little sugar nips, sugar tongs. And I priced them up at 25 pounds for the pair, which is not expensive. So that's today's uh, buying guys. I've just been into the charity shop again this morning. And I've just come out with a 40 pound lighter in my pocket and a big box full of uh, stuff for tomorrow's video. So what I'll do, I'm going to film the unpacking of the box and you can just see it as I unpack it. So just add some collectibles. There's no proper antiques but some nice collectibles. Right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> I'll say bye for now. you say bye? Bye. Bye, guys.